This is Populations and Resources, Lesson 3.2, Activity 3, Part 2. You should have just completed the sim activity both on page 1 and on page 2. So if you haven't done that, please make sure you go back and do that before watching this video. So what we should have discovered in this sim activity is the first thing is that fur bills and sting wings both have the same resource population of the wee bugs. So in order to um, make the fur bills increase, you were supposed to try to change the sting wings in order to make the fur bills increase. And in order, I'm sorry, I said that backwards. You were supposed to make a change to the fur bills to make the sting wings increase. So in order to make the sting wings increase, you would have had to have decreased the fur bills. This is just like the last um, in the reading activity, activity two, where decreasing this population then means there's more wee bugs, and so then there's more energy storage molecules for the sting wings, and so then they will reproduce more and their population would increase. So again, both fur bills and sting wings eat the wee bugs. If there are fewer fur bills, they will eat less of the wee bugs. This leaves more wee bugs for the sting wings and with more energy storage molecules from a larger wee bug population, the sting wing population can reproduce more, leading to more births than deaths, and then the sting wing population will increase. So this leads us to our answering the investigation question which is what can affect the size of a population besides its resource consumer population. Um, and that leads us to our key concept, which is that two populations can compete for the same resource population, and a change to one of these population affects the size of the other. This again is what we call an indirect effect. So when two populations compete for the same resource population, a change to one affects the size of the resource population and then in turn affects the size of the other consumer population. So again, changing the size of this um, consumer population results in a change to the resource population of the wee bugs, which then has a change of the stinging population. So remember, we are trying to we are investigating whether a population other than the moon jellies, resource or, or consumer populations, could have caused the jelly population to increase in Glacier Sea. So competition caused the jelly population to increase in North Benguela, and you're going to need to consider if this is what happened in Glacier Sea. And in the following lessons, you're also going to learn about other direct indirect effects and get more evidence about what happened in the Glacier Sea ecosystem. So make sure that you've pressed hand in when you're done and you've also marked done in Canvas.